here are the top tips from the last nine videos I posted. It's going to be completely value based. It's going to be completely stack full of useful, actionable advice. And I hope you take notes and apply it to your own life and journey. Enjoy the video. Productivity tip number one. Half of the battle of productivity and battling procrastination is knowing exactly what to do. Have simple, set, clear objectives of what you want to achieve in the session of work that you're doing and simply eat the frog. Do the hardest thing first, the easiest thing last, and the things you enjoy last after that. This simple trick will help you improve your productivity and uh, make your time that you're putting into this work more effective and utilized better. How can we find said progressive work? One simple way you can do this is by having the set goal that you want to achieve in the business. So say £1,000 in revenue per month and then work back from that. So in my case, how do I achieve that revenue in the business? All I have to do, sign more clients. How do I sign more clients? Reach out to more people. How do I reach out to more people? Via sending emails, warm, cold and any content outreach. So there we go. I have three groups that are generally in progressive work because I know if I put all of my time and productivity into those three routes, it's going to lead to more outreach, more clients interested, and then more sales lead into that revenue goal. Again, this planning stage has a few criteria that you need to include. You need to plan for many things in this section. Your duration, so the time block of your work and how long this will be. It's suggested that 90 minutes is the perfect cycle for brains, so keep this in mind when you're planning. Yeah. when you should do your work so it turns out there is a physiological best time for you to engage in some flow work or some productive work and the easy way to work it out is to average your wake time so for me it would be around 7 a.m in the morning remove two hours from that and that's going to be your temperatures nadir or lowest point of the night and then add five hours or four to five hours onto that and you'll find your most optimal 90 minute window to complete some work so for me, 7 a.m. minus two hours, add five hours is 10 a.m. So around that mark, I will be engaging in 90 minutes of productive work and that should be optimal for my brain to function. I'm just gonna interrupt the video a second here. If you're looking to get more advice from me, if you're enjoying the advice you're receiving right now, then please look at the top link in the description, book a free week meeting with me and I can turn you into a more productive person. I use the tactics and techniques that you're listening to and hopefully using in these videos and more that's not on YouTube at the moment and I'll build you schedules habit tracking templates and everything you need to become a success in your productivity journey. Next up in today's video is Alex or Moses forcing your own luck. See, this man is very inspirational, motivational to many, many, many entrepreneurs out there. And he is very well known for talking about how you can force your own luck via hard work. So he says, rather than focusing on one silver bullet, you should shoot a hundred steel bullets off and uh, you'll have a higher probability of you hitting the shot. This is just because the more work you put in, the more chance you have of being lucky uh, as you're putting yourself into the scenario and opportunities where luck can arise and therefore you're forcing your own luck and making more progress into your life. We are what we repeatedly do, so therefore excellence is not an act, but just a habit. That's a quote that is very, very true in self-improvement and business. You are what you repeatedly do. Consistency and attaining the thing you want have a consistently correlated attitude the first point in today's video the man that enjoys the walk will always walk further than the man that doesn't very easy to understand if you enjoy your work you will want to be more consistent disciplined and complete it more often find work that you find your passion in you find happiness in you find fulfillment in and you'll find it increasingly easier to complete so the first app we're going to be talking about in today's video is simple the default notes app on your phone. For me, I use iOS and Apple, so the default notes app is just the Apple Notes. This app is really, really great. I think Android has a similar feature too, where you've got a search bar in the note app where you can look for specific keywords on the notes you used before. I use the Apple Notes specifically to plan these videos, scripts, and create the description and tags for the videos. I use the notes app for this. 
I also use it to plan events, to store details like phone numbers and uh, passwords. Just because of the search function, it makes it way easier to scan through loads of information. It's easy, quick, effective, and accessible at all times. Whether you're offline, online, the default notes app on your phone should not require data or Wi-Fi or any signal like that. So it's just really effective to jot notes down quickly. But in today's video, we're gonna get into the science of the paradox. This is the nitty gritty and uh, why it's working based on neuroscience in the human brain. So it's all to do with the limitations of the human brain. There's a few things you have to talk about. So you have neurological fatigue, which comes when you're breaking out the 90 minute ultradian cycle. So your brain has 90 minute waves of focus. And if you extend above the 90 minutes, then you're gonna get neurological fatigue, which means you'll be tired in your brain and less likely to be focusing on the work. So overall, if you were to do a three hour straight session rather than 90 minutes, you'll end up doing significantly less work overall instead of just breaking it up to 90 minutes rest 90 minutes because the neurological fatigue uh, will stop you from taking in any information and being completely optimal in the work you're doing. As well as this 90 minute ultradian cycle, your brain has neuroplastic effects. This means the ability to be malleable and take in new information is neuroplasticity in the brain and is a direct correlation between neuroplasticity and the amount of rest you take from the work. So by sleeping or engaging in a non-sleep deep breath, any type of vigoring storing program like that, the neuroplasticity of the brain increases therefore, and then your ability to take in new information during your 90 minute ultradian cycles is more optimal and efficient in your work. Tip number one, rest more. Tip number two, listen to specific audios. For me, I listen to intense classical music, binaural beats, or if I'm feeling extra unmotivated, motivational audios are a nice kick to get you started in the work you're doing. Tip number three, snowball your work using minor tasks. Make your bed, clean your desk, clean on your PC, open your documents, and you'll find these small tasks have just snowballed you into the work that you actually have to do. Getting these minor wins earlier in the day allow you to flow into your work. So the basis of this video is stacking and using minor tasks to build up motivation to combat uh, laziness in major tasks. Examples of small tasks you can use to build up this motivation could be making your bed, grabbing a glass of water, clearing your desk, cleaning your desk, opening your documents, turning on your computer, and these minor, minor tasks that are simple to do will release dopamine, which is the, it is the drive hormone of the body. And this dopamine release will allow you to feel more motivated and allow you to get into your work and the harder tasks of your work much more effectively and easier. With longevity mindset, longevious mindset, however you want to say it, this is the one tip that you need to implement into your mindset over the course of your life. You have to understand nothing good, nothing valuable, nothing uh, worth having comes easy or quickly. It requires time and hard work, and that's what you need to crack for your head. So get a bit of paper, write on the paper the goal you want. So for example, I want to become a profitable trader, write the time span you're willing to put in. So five years is a great start to have, really, really great. That's what I have, and that's what I've cracked down into my head over the course of this last year of my trading. I have five years to make this work. And if after five years, I'm quitting, I'm calling it quits, and I put my time and, uh, time and effort into a different endeavor. And then at the bottom, create a little box and sign it with today's date and your name. And this will hold you accountable. Put it on your wall, put it on your computer, or fold it up and keep it memorized. But you really, really, really need to create this connection between you and the new mindset you have, the longevity mindset. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of compilation style format. I thought it was pretty cool to pump them together. And uh, I'll definitely be doing it more in the future when I post more videos. Again, if you're looking to work with me one-on-one -on -one and become a more productive person with my help, then please look at the top of the description, book a free meeting. Thank you for watching.